welcome, welcome back to the Tavern Brawl for the Clockwork Card Dealer. Ticket Town Gnomes are testing their prototype card bot, Optimatron. The card you draw on turn one will be a one cost card. One cost card if you have one on turn two, a two cost card, and etc. Thank you. How are you doing today? Now, uh, I will also use this video as a little bit of a chance as an update. So I've been uploading so irregularly and almost nothing but tavern brawls lately to be honest um as a matter of fact whenever this goes out it will probably go out at the same time as last week's brawl just because i didn't get a chance to get it out in time uh work is really really picking up for me and i've been doing a lot of work on the boo review Ooh, let's see i don't like this at all terrible terrible and uh yeah i've, I've constructed a pretty janky deck for this brawl i don't i don't know how much faith i have in it but i think it'll be a fun deck and that's what it's all about yeah so we're going to have fun with this brawl and we're going to see what happens and where it goes. Luckily we pull a one drop, there we go. And we'll see how it goes. Each other card in your hand, okay. So yeah, I um, ooh, empty mana crystal. Hmm, heck yeah we do, we want that empty mana crystal, we're going face, bam. <clears throat> So yeah, so plans. Uh, I am going to start recording a lot more indie games, and now that I have my Elgato, I'm going to start recording a lot more game series. Uh, the first of which is probably going to be Fatal Frame, because I love Fatal Frame. So I've got that in the works. Um, until I've gotten the time to work my way through it, and I don't really have anything any better. And until I've had time to work my way through it and actually kind of get it established and have several episodes ready to go, I probably won't start uploading it because I don't want to start it and then there'd be huge gaps of time where I did not have time to record. So that's probably where I'm going to start. I'm going to record more console games. As a matter of fact, I might do like a Fatal Frame playthrough and play Fatal Frame 1, 2, 3 and Maidens of Blackwater. That would be awesome, I think. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, look at this ass right here. Come on. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Where do we go from here? Do we just go? Do we just go ahead and drop Lothab? Yeah, let's just go ahead and drop Lothab. Sure, why not? We'll see what happens. So that should be a lot of fun. I'm not saying they'll all be 100% back to back to back to back like that, but I would do kind of want to sprinkle some other stuff in the middle of there. And I'm definitely going to be doing some stuff with my buddies from the Boo Review and hopefully other friends too. Uh, playing some, I want to start like a first to five series where we play just fighting games and we play whoever first to win five. We'll play as long as that takes. If it, if it ends up being incredibly long, I'll split it into two parts or something like that. But I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, I have a lot of different fighting games. We'll probably start with something obvious, you know, your Street Fighters and stuff like that. We're big, big Street Fighter fans. So... That is a pretty likely scenario, and let's see. Decisions, decisions. Uh, hmm. Um, we're gonna go shredder, pop, bam, in turn. We'll live with that. So, yeah, I wanna start like a fighting game series, go first to five. I think that'll be a lot of fun. I would like to start a versus series for competitive games that are not fighting and maybe a cooperative series for, obviously, cooperative games. And I think that would be a lot of fun to do. So I've got plans for it. I'll just have to see how much of it I can make come into fruition here during the holiday season when my job is at its busiest. Oh, <laughs> at the start of your turn, destroy all minions. Oh, no, does he, oh, he's going to kill it. No. <laughs> Damn, that would have been... Ugh. God, that would have just been too good. That would have just been too good if we could have had that. Uh, let's see. Oh, Gilvan Megatork summon an awesome invention. Uh, man, as much as I want to do this just for like the shits and giggles and just randomness of it. Uh, yeah, I, I threw just random stuff in here. Like I said, I, we're just going to have some fun with this. Um, hmm. Turn this into a taunt bad boy, or I could charge him straight in. Kill one of these guys. Hmm. It might be better to run him in as a charge. 
maybe? Because there's always the chance that he might have something that could nullify him before I have a chance to make use of that charge. So we're just going to go ahead, we're going to do that right there. I feel like this isn't going in my favor at all, but I mean, there's not a huge health difference. I mean, he's definitely got board advantage. He has a weapon, so there was about to be a bigger, much bigger health difference. So yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll draw a healing touch or something and just kind of get myself back in the game. Oh, uh, look at this son bitch high main right here. <laughs> so yeah, I've got big plans. I just fear, my fear is that there's a lot of it that I won't be able to capitalize on until it's a seven, yeah, attack of seven or more. A lot of it that I won't be able to capitalize on until January, which is, which, what is this? What is this? At the end of your turn, give a random minion plus one plus one. Oh. All right, well, we're gonna go with that right there. And we'll see what happens with this. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping to give it to him. Oh, well, whatever. So right now I'm going to focus uh, on trying to get that Fatal Frame series going and get some episodes. So in the meantime, there might, it's going to be light on content just like it has been. So it was not the, my best time to kind of get started with things. And Jared had an issue with his computer. So mine is the only one he has too for editing on the boot review because he does the the big picture editing. I do a lot of the audio and the after effects, which I keep referencing this other channel. I guess I should have explained. I do have another channel called The Boo Review, and it's where I'm at most of the time, and I stream somewhat frequently too. So there's places you, you can find me besides for on here, should you so wish, just to see what's going on. Let's go, you know, just to check it out, and GG. GG, my friend. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're going to cut our losses, and we're going to try again. I will try this, this janky-ass deck at least one more time and just see if I can pull something out of my ass with it. I mean, there's... Yeah. No, it's not the best. But maybe it'll be fun. Maybe it'll be fun. We'll try again. We'll try again and see what happens. So there you go. Uh, Kind of a list of ideas I've got floating around in my head just rattle off real quick over right there over the tavern brawl so I have plans on improving the quality and content and consistency of the channel it just might take me some time to be able to accomplish it the way that I would like to um piloted shredder hmm I go first I could turn two piloted shredder. That's not a terrible turn two because his death rattle gives me another minion. I'm comfortable with that. Let me see what I get. Okay, yeah, I'm comfortable with turn two piloted shredder unless something better comes up. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That that's kind of my rundown on updates. Hit very quickly. Also, I'm thinking of a rebranding of the channel. I do like the name the US of AJ. Playing on the whole like the US of A. My name is AJ. But I thought about it, changing it to a channel name that is more indicative of what the channel is about. Um, I don't know what that would be. Like, I don't know. Let's play AJ. I like the way it rhymes, but I don't know. It's maybe something a little more clever, a little more unique than that. I'm still batting that around, but I've got some time to think on it. So um, a lot being considered and a lot to work on. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, um, we get our turn one, our clockwork gnome again. So there we go. This little guy. <clears throat> so yeah fun stuff fun stuff I do recommend checking out the boot review it is the channel like the, the, those are fully edited videos that we spend a lot of time on that are reviewing paranormal videos on YouTube and we try to do it in an entertaining and comical manner so it's not just a simple list hash of all these videos and like we, we give our two cents of whether it makes sense sometimes or not we give our reasons anyway and we try to have a lot of fun with it, so, you know, if you happen to see this, check that out, too. Did he just coin out the blades? I wonder if he's got something... Ooh, I wonder if he's got something big planned for the blades. Alright, we're gonna Shredder, face, and in turn. Hmm. I'm cool with that. That works. That works. And, man, I'm light on cards down here. That's fine, though. We'll make it happen. We'll make it work. Deadly poison. Yeah. 
I, I figured whenever he didn't uh, kill the gnome with it that he was working on something big. I say big, I mean, it's plus two damage. Enemy spells cost. What? Why? Why? Pack earned. All right. Well, sweet. We're gonna try one more time because that just ended so suddenly. The person just gave up. You know, whatever. I feel like that happens a lot to me in the tavern brawls when people just give up. It happens. I guess it makes sense that it happens here if it's gonna happen more than in arena or ranked play. Whenever you actually have something to lose. Oh, that was my phone. If that picked up, let me let me move that out of the way over here. I must protect Man, I go first again. Uh, I would actually prefer to go second in this deck. Without a guarantee of anything better, I don't really want this as my starting hand. A eh, little better, a little better. I've got my turn one, uh, I've got my turn four, and the event that I actually have enough minions to make it useful, I've got an Enhanced Mechano here. Uh, Alright. Get out there, Clockwork. And let's try again. Is this... I didn't even pay attention to the name last time. No, this is a different rogue. He's got a different card back. I was like, what the hell? What are the odds I would end up with the same person? But no, no, no. Different rogue. Different rogue. Smashing that clockwork. Whoa! Uh, hmm. <laughs> do I drop my other gnome to establish some board presence? Or do I go ahead and hero power? What have I got going on next turn? I'm gonna hero power, fuck it. We're just gonna do that, that's fine. And we'll see what they do with their... I... Oh, oh. Whenever you summon a pirate, deal two damage to the enemy. Oh, is this a pirate rogue? Are they about to go all like swashbuckler on my ass? Uh, let's see. <laughs> um. Hmm. What to do? What to do? We know that we're gonna drop this guy regardless. I can give him one health that puts him out of range of the dagger. Hell, I could give him plus two, plus two, taunt him up. Let's live a little bit. This is not the wisest play. I will not defend it, except for that I wanted to do it. <laughs> and just see what happens. That's the beauty of the Tavern Brawl to me. It's it's not a competitive format. I mean, you can make it competitive if you want to, sure. But it's not a competitive format. It's a random ass fun format. You get, it's a chance for me to take and make the janky decks and just use cards I don't normally get to use and just see what happens. Uh, this is gonna be a definite shredder. And I imagine he'll dagger the shredder. Blood and oh, look at this. Old pirate. X marks the spot. Oh, look at this. So many pirates. <laughs> and I get one too, but I have no weapon for it to benefit from. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Old pirate rogue's not doing too bad for itself up there. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wonder. Uh, just drop Lothab and make him a target, and then just deal with the consequences later. Or oh, this dumbass taunt right here—it's really just it's so inconvenient. So inconvenient. Uh. I mean, I could do this. We'll see what happens with this right here. What do, what do we get? What do we got? Divine shield. We'll go ahead and do that right there. I guess. <sighs> Whatever. Like most people that played this mode. I don't know. Some people try hard. It like. But 
Yeah. It's just a chance to go for it and do things. Look at this, man. I'm liking this pirate deck right here. Fun stuff, fun stuff. And despite not even getting, despite not ever going face, they, they've taken several hits, so. I mean, that being said, look at this that I'm up against right here. So they've definitely got an advantage. There's no doubt there. All right, let's see, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Mm, my Exna. Ooh, my Exna and Defender of Argus. That would be a decent combo, no doubt about it. Um. What to do? What to do? Well, we got to get rid of this. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, I could hero power my way through that. And it's probably the best thing to do. But that would leave me dropping Defender of Argus now just for this guy, which is far from ideal. Hmm. Eh. Here's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and do this. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to restore 8 health to myself. Just to keep things rolling. That'll work. It'll do for now. Uh, next turn, seven mana. Hmm. Hmm. Elephina. We'll see what we pull. We'll see if we can't do something with it. What you get? Ship's cannon, man. Pirates to the max. <clears throat> Return a friendly minion to your hand. Man, I really wish I could have something. I wish I had gotten the one. Because you can get the spare part that gives you taunt. That would have been great. Um, Instead of my ex now, maybe I could load them for now. And get rid of one of these... Dumbass cannons. We'll roll with that. Hmm. I do have a few options here. I'm starting to pick up a few options. Man, this deck is just completely like synergy. I just I did just throw this shit together. Wow. I mean for the tavern brawls, I still usually like to do a little bit more effort than this, but you know. It is what it is. <laughs> but by default, we got our win because that person conceded, so that's fine. This guy's tough. Look at this, this shit right here. He's got combos, he's got pirates. And he's got eight on the board, plus one, that's nine. Uh... He has eight on the board. Hmm. So that's eight. If he plays a card, he's got so much opportunity to get rid of my ex now before it's of any consequence. My ex is not even that great a card. I guess I just threw it in because it was a random legendary that I'd never, ever, ever use. It would have nice synergy if I could get it with uh, Defender of Argus, but hmm. I can't. Not right now. For no one. Fuck it. Give it an extra help. It'll cost something more than just your minions. You'll have to attack it and get that whole two damage right in your face. Whoa! Look at this guy! Yeah. Don't have him. And smash. Well played. Well played. I like your pirate deck, sir. You clearly put way more thought into your deck than I ever did for the tavern brawl. Which pirate rogue is a thing, though, right? To be honest, pirate rogue is a thing, I think. But I never, I've never run into one into ranked play. But I don't, I don't play ranked play a ton, like. 
Yeah, I do. I do really enjoy playing Arena. Arena is usually where I try to actually put effort into the game. But in the meantime, let's see. What do we get? What classic cards do we get? <gasps> Look at this. Rare. Questing Adventurer. Underwhelming. Legendary though. King Mukla, give your opponent two bananas. God damn it. It could have been a better legend. I didn't even know King Mukla was a legendary. Like, I don't know. I guess I did. It makes sense for his monocost and, and everything. I, I guess it makes sense. I don't know. This is like, this is like a fun card to play with maybe, but I mean, you get that 5-5 five, five out on turn three, but whatever there's way better legendaries that I could have netted from like the classic packs that I don't have uh when I saw it pop I was hoping for Jaraxxus to be honest I was really hoping for Lord Jaraxxus but yeah free Mukla I guess I could always disenchant him and can put him towards my dust funds for another card but anyway anyway I digress I digress that is it for this week's Tavern Brawl, and it's probably going to be going up at the same time as last week's Tavern Brawl. They'll go up together. That one is super late. This one's late. That one is super late. But hopefully, in time, I get this a little more regulated. So if you stuck with it this far, this far thank you for doing so. Check out some of the indie games. I'm going to try to get more of those to come. Oh, I've been challenged by Corey Williams. Um, and... I'm just going to have to take it as it comes until I get everything situated. But for now, thank you, have a good one, and peace.